Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic Polygon Hermes, which is an open source CK rollup solution. It's a layer 2 solution on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, my name is Kairo Thakka and a huge shout out to the Hacker Dojo team for the support and guidance. Let's begin with the workshop. So let's get a glimpse of what the ride ahead holds for us. We will first get a basic introduction to Polygon Hermes, understand what Polygon Hermes is. Then we will move on to an in-depth discussion of ZK rollups, understand the technology behind ZK rollups. The next step includes the understanding origin and need for poly polygon harmonies so you have a solution of polygon harmonies but what problem does it address how did polygon harmonies came into the picture the origin story of polygon harmonies and the necessity of such solutions will be discussed then we will explore harmonies magic basically understanding the technology that Polygon Hermes provides, how it works under the hood. In the next step, we have applications of Polygon Hermes. This step, we would explore the real life dApps or protocols that are planning to move to Polygon Hermes. In the next step, we have the research and future scope of Polygon Hermes. Kinda how the Polygon Hermes team is moving forward. What are the research that, that is being done and what does the future hold for solutions such as Polygon Hermes? We will also discuss how the Hermes 1.0 team was acquired by Polygon and how they are collaborating with the ZK AVM. In the next step, we have the advantages and disadvantages of Polygon Hermes. You know, every innovation has pros and cons, so we will go and discuss those pros and cons in this section and in the last section we have the gratitude and references references to the articles that have helped me shape the content for this workshop and gratitude towards the hacker dojo and dora hacks team for their hacker movement and their continued efforts for activities such as hackathons grants and bounties We'll discuss that in detail in the 8th section. Now, let's go forward with the introduction to Polygon Hermes. So, Polygon Hermes is an open source CK rollup project. Now, we know how open source projects work. Basically, you are allowing collaborators from across the world to improve your project, but what does ZK rollup solution suggest? What is ZK? What are rollups? We'll discuss that in the upcoming slides. For now, consider it as a way to solve the network congestion on the layer one blockchain. We'll discuss in detail what zero knowledge proofs are. Now, ZK basically stands for zero knowledge and rollups. They are a layer 2 blockchain solutions which solve network congestion on layer 1 by providing variety proof for a batch of transactions and thus solving a huge burden on layer 1 blockchain, providing a secure, low cost and usable token transfers. In this, in this case, for the layer 1 blockchain, Ethereum. This reduces the transfer cost significantly. You know, Polygon Hermes uses zero knowledge technology for the rollup solution. We also have optimistic rollups. We'll go into details to how they function as well. This network guarantees computational integrity and on chain data availability using zero knowledge proof technology. The mission of Polygon Hermes is to establish an inclusive and resilient and highly efficient payment network for the next generation of digital currencies. 
you know if we are imagining a world where cryptocurrency transactions are as common as fiat transactions today you know we would have millions and billions of transactions happening over the network and for that to happen efficiently and for that increased scale of mass adoption you would require transactions that are reliable and also affordable you, know, you shouldn't have huge amount of gas fees associated with every transaction so polygon hermes comes in and solves that the hermes 1.0 project features a proof of donation mechanism uh, 40% of the winning bid in block creation option is returned as donation to ethereum public goods through bitcoin quadratic funding grants the rest 60% goes to the block creator to incentivize the block creator okay. this is for the hermes 1.0 We'll understand how Hermes team moved from Hermes 1.0 to Hermes 2.0, their acquisition by Polygon in the upcoming slides. But uh, the Hermes 1.0 basically, as described already, adopted a unique proof of donation mechanism. Now, what are ZK Rolex? Right. So we discussed that Polygon Hermes is an open source ZK Rolex solution. What exactly are ZK rollups? What is zero knowledge proofs? What is a rollup technology? Okay. We'll go forward and understand that. Rollups are layer two scaling solution that process transactions off chain and periodically submit aggregated data or proof to the main blockchain, reducing congestion and increasing transaction throughput. Okay. Uh, a good example would be let's say you have a single road. To enter into a public place, right? Let's say a public place is there, and you are being tested for, let's say, uh, metal testing, and all the tests are happening before letting you enter the public place. Now, if you create another route, right? If you create another such route where you enable the security checks to happen, right? So. The amount of traffic that the single route is taking place, right? The amount of traffic that single route is taking place, is to be reduced because now you have another route. You have a lot of people going out to that route as well. So route one basically gets a uh, uh, lot less traffic uh, than what it was getting previously. And imagine that both these routes basically converge into a single route and then go towards the entry. After the checks are happening, you know all the people are getting into a single route and then they are going. So, what happens is that once the validity has been established, once the security checks are done on route two, you know we know that these people are safe to go as well, right? And then we are putting them on the same route as participants of route one, because all of them they have gone through security checks. It's valid for them to enter the public place. So. That is a simpler form of analogy of what rollups do, and to understand how they reduce network congestion and increase the speed of transactions. Um, in this case, basically increase the entry of, uh, decrease the barriers and uh, difficulty of entering a public place. In a blockchain, you know, it they would decrease the difficulty of transactions and reduce the fees. ZK rollups utilize zero knowledge proofs to verify the validity of transaction privately, ensuring computational integrity and on chain data availability while maintaining the security of the base layer network for settlement. Security of base layer network is not compromised. We are providing uh, a better service, but uh, the security of base layer is not compromised. Now, to understand what zero knowledge proofs are, I have uh, an example. All right, so here we are at the example. We have a human one and human two. Basically, the constraints are for human one to prove. The objective is to prove that these two balls are of different color, right? To human two, human one has to prove this to human two that ball one and ball two are of different color. The constraints are for the same is that you cannot just show the balls to human two, right? You can't just have a Ball in one hand holding red, another hand blue. Go to human two and uh, say that 
look at these two balls, these are of different colors. No, human 2 is basically blindfolded and without revealing that the color of ball 1 is red, color of ball 2 is blue, human 1 has to prove it to human 2 that these two balls are of different colors. Right? So human 2 can't see the color of the balls. So how would human 1 prove it to human 2 in such a scenario? That's an interesting um, problem and that's what, that's what we are trying to address here. That There is a way to prove it to human 2 that these two balls are of different color and uh, human 2 can basically valid, validate this without looking at the colors of the ball. So the method for this is that human 1 asks human 2 to hold these balls in his hands. right? So human 1 says you can hold the one ball into the right hand and the second ball into the left hand. right? And he doesn't say that you are holding red in the right hand, blue in the left hand. No. He just says hold these balls in your hands. Right? And now swap them right? in such a way that I can't see right? whether you have swapped them or not. Right? So you can either choose to swap them or not swap them and then show me the final state in your hands. Right? So normally we used to put uh, you know ha our hands at the back and swap them so that the other person can't know whether we have uh, swap the balls or not. That used to happen in terms of uh, toss of various sports or let's say a choice where one person had to win, another person had to lose. But in this case, human 2 basically uh, is supposed to swap or not swap and show the final state to human 1. Right. So in the first case, uh, human 2 basically swaps. Right. He had the red ball in the right hand, blue in the left hand, he says, okay, I'm going to swap and show human one that, you know, this is the final state. Now you tell me whether I have swapped or not. So red ha right hand shows blue, left hand shows red after the swap. Human one looks into the, human one can look into the colors, right? So human one says, yeah, you have swapped. So human two says, okay, I will try once again. This time human two decides not to swap. So blue is again in the right hand, right hand, and uh, red is again in the left hand. So this time, human one says you have not swapped. Human two says fine. This time I'm again not going to swap. So the final state is red in the right hand, blue in the left hand, and human one again predicts it accurately that human two has swapped the balls. Now, no matter how many times human 2 tries, human 1 will always be able to predict that uh, the balls are swapped or not. Now, that is only possible if the balls are of different colors. Right? Imagine that you had red and red. It's not possible for human 1 to say that you have swapped or not. Not conclusively. Right? I'm not talking about flukes or uh, guesses or assumptions. I'm talking about a conclusive comment by the human one that either the balls are swapped or not and in that case balls are of same color it's not possible right? so human two says human one is able to you know, accurately tell me whether i have swapped the balls or not the only way this is possible is because the balls are of different colors so we have proven this to human two that balls are of different color without actually showing them the colors of the balls. So this is what zero knowledge proofs are. This is what basically ZKPs are that you know zero knowledge proofs that we have proven it to other individual. A proof has been provided without providing any knowledge about the input of the data. This has tremendous applications in the world of cryptography and also in the world of computer science as we move forward. Right, so we are now back at the presentation and GK rollups now prove to be a promising solution for enhancing blockchain scalability and usability. Right? By using 
an optimum amount of computational resources, reducing gas fees and offering faster confirmation time. The enhanced privacy feature by ZK Rollups also valuable. We are not disclosing transaction details when you are using zero knowledge rollups. I explained the zero knowledge proofs as to how we don't need to disclose the input data to prove the validity of the same. It minimizes the amount of data posted on chain and ensures transaction privacy. These are some examples of zero knowledge technology being used by various protocols. We have Starknet, which is a decentralized ZK rollup platform built on top of Ethereum blockchain, which was developed by Starkware team. We have a Loopring, which is a low cost trading platform. You know, they provide a decentralized exchange, which is again a ZK rollup protocol, enabling high throughput and low cost trading on Ethereum. Polygon Maiden, another ZK rollup solution based on ZK Stark cryptographic uh, method. It emphasizes ZK centric design over EVM compatibility. Interestingly, Polygon Hermes is also a decentralized ZK rollup project, differs in the approach. You know, the Polygon Hermes basically utilizes our best of both worlds, the hybrid of ZK Stark and ZK Snarks. We will explore to how ZK Stacks and ZK Snacks are being utilized by Polygon Hermes in the upcoming slides. But it uses a proof of efficiency consensus mechanism. We understood that Hermes 1.0 used proof of donation mechanism. Now we have Hermes 2.0, basically Polygon Hermes, utilizing a proof of efficiency consensus mechanism to ensure network security and decentralization. So we discussed ZK rollups and uh, I mentioned an, another type of rollup known as optimistic rollups in the previous slides. So let's understand what the difference is between ZK rollups and optimistic rollups. Optimistic rollups basically consider a batch of transactions to be valid and then they provide a window of time to the validators to send a proof of fraud and detect and trim off malicious transactions. Right? So initially they assume the transactions to be valid and a window of time is provided to prove if there are transactions which are malicious and once the validators detect and trim off malicious transactions, the rest of the valid transactions are submitted back with their uh, validity and data proof to the main blockchain. The validity proof system in zero knowledge rollups uses a set of smart contracts to ascertain the validity of transactions instantly. You know, they use zero knowledge technology, so they don't need to provide sort of window of time to validators or anyone else. Transactions happen more instantly. The lower recorded fees on optimistic rollups and the transactions are light. In the case of ZK rollups, transactions are a bit heavier. The transactions can take up to seven days to reach finality on main network to challenge period. You know, the technology basically allows a challenge period or a window of time for the transactions to be established as valid. And the zero knowledge rollups, the validity is instant. You know, there is no challenge period. Technology is way simpler in optimistic rollups. The Application of such technology by developers is also very simpler. Also, optimistic rollups enjoy the first mover advantage. You know, they came into the picture first. Zero knowledge rollups were sort of an improvement over this. The technology is more complex. The privacy is where ZK rollups win. The fraud proof validators can eavesdrop on transactions and in the case of ZK rollups, such flaw doesn't exist because the validity proofs established by zero knowledge technology provide a higher level of privacy. Optimistic rollups are more popular based on TVM. As we go forward, we will see that the top three rollups based on TVM or total value locked are all optimistic rollups 
and uh, zero knowledge rollups are less popular but just the current scenario i see a lot of things changing in the near uh, near future there's a lot of things changing you know zk rollups are catching up and we we'll see an increased adoption due to the superior technology of zk rollups the evm compatibility is optimistic rollups are easily evm compatible or generally evm compatible and you have a different sort of sense of stages of uh, evm compatibility by zk zk rollups and this might require more work from developers while integrating them into their solutions you have zk snarks zk stacks and the way they have to be integrated into the evm compatibility it differs top 3 rollups by total value lot are arbitrum optimism and uh, base prominent reasons for an increased adoption of optimistic rollups in the current scenario of blockchain technology include first more advantage less fees as compared to zk rollups and easier implementation of technology as compared to zk rollups but the zk rollups are catching up and the founder of ethereum Mr. Vitalik Buterin has previously mentioned that ZK rollups can be the end game in rollup technology. Also, if you look at you know, even if we understand the meaning of these rollups, ZK rollups certainly incorporate the ethos of blockchain technology more, increased privacy, a better way of providing validity proofs. Thus, they are more private, secure, and provide with instant transactions. Let's look at the origin and need for Polygon Hermes now. So, we discussed CK rollups. Now let's understand how Polygon Hermes came into the picture. So the team behind Hermes 1.0, how they were acquired by Polygon. Polygon Hermes was founded by Jordi Velina, Anthony Martin, and David Swartz, all from Barcelona, Spain. The project originated from the idea of conducting an online referendum using blockchain technology during Catalonia's independence referendum period. So basically, when they started the Hermes 1.0 project, the idea was to provide a decentralized identity solution. That was a use case that they were aiming for. Later, when they realized that there is a demand in the market for Ethereum's address scalability challenges they pivoted towards that and that led to the development of a zk rollup solution optimized for the low cost transfers on ethereum the hermes team basically emerged from the company idem 3 they are now obviously focused towards offering a secure low cost and efficient token transfer this is in response to the demand for the accessible financial services and mainstream adoption. Polygon acquired the Hermes for Hermes team for $250 million. They merged the two native tokens. In fact, we would explore that the Polygon team has been on a roll acquiring ZK solutions left and right. You know, you have Polygon Mind and Polygon Hermes. You have Beer Protocol for $400 million. You will talk about that in the upcoming slides. So once the two native tokens were merged, the HES tokens were phased out, which refers to the Hermes 1.0 project. Now let's explore the magic of Hermes. Understand the technology under the hood of Polygon Hermes. So, as we already discussed, Polygon Hermes utilizes ZK rollup technology to process mass transfers efficiently in a single transaction. You have a batch of transactions coming in, they are validated, those data proofs are aggregated and then put back on the Ethereum layer 1 blockchain. Polygon Hermes operates as a layer 2 construction on top of Ethereum, which stores only the proofs and compressed data onto the main network to multiply network efficiency and throughput. By leveraging 
zero knowledge proofs. Polygon Hamid ensures the validity and correctness of transactions while significantly reducing computational requirements. Right? Now we have an another analogy here. Uh, imagine Ethereum is a highly congested road. Now let's say if you provide a flyover. Right? You have a highly congested road and you provide a flyover. Basically, you're reducing traffic on the main road. And uh, that is what roll-up solutions do. You know, the Ethereum layer 1 blockchain might be highly congested. There's a lot of transactions happening on chain. And if we have a solution such as a roll-up, which basically provides a way to solve network congestion and high-speed transactions at low cost, we would be able to reduce the traffic onto the main road, in this case, an Ethereum layer 1 blockchain, providing a faster transportation and increasing the network throughput. This is the architecture for the Polygon Hermes technology. You know, you have aggregators, you have sequencer, and you have synchronizers. As the name suggests, basically sequencer is in charge of taking the transactions in batch and providing them with appropriate sequence. Aggregators are basically in control of providing the aggregated data proof to the Ethereum layer 1 blockchain. And synchronizers, syn as the name suggests, you know, they are synchronizing the flow of aggregated data proofs on the layer 1 blockchain and also the transactions that are coming into the layer 2 roll-up solution and the way they are validated. The Hermes network uses a novel consensus algorithm called uh, proof of efficiency to ensure decentralization and network security. Proof of efficiency system consists of sequencers and aggregators. Sequencers accept transactions and include them in a batch. Aggregators generate ZK proofs to be submitted to Ethereum. The provision is that anyone can become a sequencer or aggregator. And the network has built in crypto economic incentives to encourage the honest behavior. Alright. This is how the proof of efficiency consists algorithm works. You have sequencers accepting the transactions, including them in a batch, and then you have aggregators generating the relevant ZK proofs for the batch of transactions, which are then submitted to the Ethereum layer 1 blockchain. The Polygon Hermes team utilizes ZK stars, which is a succinct non-interactive argument of knowledge, to generate proofs that are both efficient and secure. Now, see, I like to, we have discussed that ZK snarks and ZK stars is a hybrid approach being used by Polygon Hermes to bring the best of both worlds, to bring the best of ZK snarks and ZK stars. So to further bolster the security of its blockchain, Polygon Hermes incorporates ZK stars, right? It is a scalable, transparent argument of knowledge into its architecture. ZK snarks basically use elective curve cryptography. They are not quantum resistant. ZK stacks, on the other hand, are quantum resistant. And uh, they use hash functions into their methodology, into their functionality. So that's why, for better security, Polygon Hermes incorporates ZK stacks into their architecture. And for generating proofs that are fast, efficient, and secure, right, they utilize ZK snacks technology. So ZK snacks are definitely more efficient in, and faster as compared to ZK snacks in terms of generating proofs and thus Polygon Hermes's hybrid approach right, enables the network to achieve enhanced scalability while maintaining a high level of security. The use of ZK snacks and ZK stacks in Polygon Hermes's architecture also enables interoperability and compatibility with other blockchain networks. This increased interoperability and compatibility makes Polygon Hermes a more versatile and attractive solution for a broader range of applications and users. When you are utilizing a, con a combination of both these technologies, that will allow Polygon Hermes 
to interact with other blockchain network in the near or distant future more efficiently and that would increase the interoperability of the polygon homey solution that basically entails that it becomes an attractive solution for a broader range of applications and users the onboarding of various application and users becomes much easier now let's move on to the various applications of polygon hermes understand which protocols and which applications are planning to move polygon hermes and which have already moved also if you look at the categories the upcoming protocols into the blockchain and web3 landscape can easily adopt this technology due to the nature and the ease of access so let's say you have polygon basically polygon as we already discussed they are on a roll they are buying a lot of zk roll ups technology even the zk technology in general you have polygon maiden polygon zero polygon hermes you have the main protocol so you have this defi protocols called aave and uniswap which are already planning to move to the polygon hermes technology um you have web3 social platforms like lens and gaming studios like midnight society the polygon team has already launched a mainnet beta and they are constantly working on the necessary upgrades and updates required to onboard the next wave of applications and users now moving on to the research and future scope at polygon hermes so let's look at the timeline you know polygon acquired hermes for 250 million dollars on august 4 2021 polygon acquired the meet protocol for 400 million dollars on december 9 2021 So basically, the Polygon team is acquiring zk so solutions, right? Hermes is a zk rollup solution, Mir is another zk solution, and Polygon made the zk AVM testnet available on October 10, 2022. Right? So this also shows the speed at which they are buying important protocols and they are incorporating new changes into the technology. You know, the collaboration of Hermes, Mir, and other zk rollup solutions, zk solutions in general. Have allowed them to make the zk evm testnet available very soon after their acquisitions and they also made the zk evm mainnet beta available on march 27 2023 so buying a high performing team a high functioning team buying such teams and then allowing them to collaborate you know that allows them to operate at a speed unseen and uh, polygon team is basically moving towards acquiring more such zk solutions and then allowing them to collaborate to give a great zk solution for the world zk evm mainnet beta is available and now looking at the polygon hermes it's a completely open source project with extensive documentation The Polygon 2.0 roadmap has been launched. Polygon has made a significant commitment of one billion dollars to ZK-related projects, including partnership with relevant team, designing and developing ZK-based solutions, hiring premium talent, and funding research efforts. The Polygon Hermes team has partnered with UC Berkeley, a well-known institute, in terms of research as to. how they are going to advance this blockchain technology and zero knowledge proof systems such industrial and academic partnerships polygon hermes team has been undertaking and that would allow them to collaborate with world class talent and bring their vision to reality let's look at some advantages and disadvantages of polygon hermes so advantages are polygon hermes significantly reduces transfer cost making financial services more accessible for mainstream adoption polygon hermes is layer 2 scaling solution can process mass transfers in a single transaction multiplying the efficiency and throughput of the network polygon hermes is designed to seamlessly integrate with the ethereum ecosystem and 
The Polygon Hermes team employs a proof of efficiency mechanism that enables commissionless trans participation in the network, protecting it against malicious attacks and avoiding control by a single authority. So you have Ethereum compatibility, you have high throughput, you have a significant cost redu reduction as compared to the Ethereum layer 1 blockchain transactions, and you have decentralized participation. All right, so now let's understand a few disadvantages of Polygon Hermes. Complex integration. Polygon Hermes may present challenges in terms of technical complexities during integration, especially for developers unfamiliar with zero knowledge technology and layer two solution. Zero knowledge technology still being new as compared to, let's say, the optimistic rollups and other layer two solutions. This definitely poses a complex integration disadvantage towards the Polygon Hermes, which is a, again an open source uh, ZK rollup solution. So that is one of the ways where people can collaborate more, provide more sort of solid documentation and ways for developers to make the integration into their existing dApps or uh, Swap3 solutions easier. Your security considerations, the Polygon Hermes employs zero knowledge proofs and it's definitely a secure system. But any vulnerabilities in the implementation of this new and complex technology with their existing Web3 solution could pose risks to the network and user funds. And here we are talking about millions and in the near future, possibly billions of dollars of user funds. And that can entail a huge security risk. The steep learning curve as to how the developers and users may need to familiarize themselves with new concepts and technologies, such as zero knowledge assembly language and ZK friendly programming languages such as Caro. This could require additional time and resource overhead for adoption and implementation. Finally, moving on to the gratitude and reference section. This is a list of articles which have been extremely useful in preparation of content for this workshop, the Polygon forum, the Hermes forum, various substacks, and even the stories covered regarding Polygon and the Hermes team in certain blogs. I would like to thank everyone for giving the precious time to this workshop. You can contact me on the below email address and I would be happy to connect with you on LinkedIn and Twitter as well. Finally, a huge shout out to the Hacker Dojo team providing a variety of hackathons, bounties, discussion grants, also funding ideas and a very strong hacker community.